Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you love my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Okay, this is for James from Harshman Hills. Um, just talking about strikers and snapping files off. That was a snapped off file. So what I was talking about, quenching them, yeah. I suggest doing it. If you're not happy with the way it sparks, you may have got it a little bit hot while you're grinding it that can happen um it's n very easy to do but it may have just been tempered too much while it was um being made so they don't spark the best sometimes you can um yeah certainly put it in the forge take it up to bright orange it'll it'll go an orange yellow color get a have a magnet beside it so yeah get a good soak over the whole thing the whole striker should be orange tap it against a, ma a magnet it shouldn't stick to the magnet once it's past magnetic and not sticking to the magnet straight into water swish it around in figure eights like that that stops air bubbles from forming around the striker as it's quenching and that'll get a good quench and over the whole thing. That'll harden it to as hard as possible. You don't have to be in there for about 20 seconds. Pull it out, it'll be safe to touch then. It'll have been completely cooled. It'll be as hard as you can make it then. Once that's done, don't drop it because it, it'll be 65 Rockwell then. Um, then, you have to grind it all the way around. What I was saying is clean it all up. So decarb it by grinding it, grind it all the way around, just clean it up, dipping it in water all the time just to make sure it's nice and cool. But see how I've got these nice curves here? That's for this action. That gives it a good good thing but clean it all up all the way around just to give it a nice user friendly thing also make sure you clean up on the edges here so that the teeth don't touch as you're sparking your teeth aren't touching the stone because what it'll do is chip prematurely chip the edges but it, it, just clean it all up and soften all the edges all the way around doesn't matter if you get a good roll over it that, that doesn't matter but I like a thick strike face reasonably flat on the edge here but that curve is what I was talking about there um, and you'll find this has been a quenched one And it sparks pretty good. Both sides. Um, that's just one of my slotted Vikings. Andrew's put a slot in it. Um, yeah, don't worry about the slot. They're pretty hard to do unless you've got a milling machine. Andrew's got a milling machine, so that's good. But um, yeah, hope that helps. But that's that's how how I turn it. Um, yeah, once it's all ground up. Just whack it on a wire wheel, clean it all up. It gets it looking nice and pretty. Um, and, yeah, just grind them all up. Just, as I said, make sure you're dipping them all the time when you grind after they're quenched because you don't want them to get hot. You should be always able to touch it as you're grinding because otherwise, um, if it's too hot to touch, you might have to put it back in the quench tank and re-quench it. But, um, yeah, once, once it's done, they should pretty much look like that this has got a few scuff marks because i've been striking it but yeah just clean them all up and just as i said go make sure you go around all the way around here just to take the um the file teeth off because you don't want any file teeth at all around it to touch because all file teeth do is prematurely burn your edge out File strikers are really good. Um, I, I love them. Um, snapping them off and just using them as they are 
eight times out of ten they'll work all right, but they do temper them. So they do put them in an oven and bring them bring their hardness down a bit. That's just in case you drop them and they they don't snap. The chances of them snapping are less. But strikers have got to be as hard as they possibly can to get the best sparks. So that's why um, these are not tempered. I don't temper mine at all. And um, yeah, putting them in the quench tank, you'll probably make them 65 Rockwell, you know, to be able to get them to spark. This is on quartzite that's fairly blunt, but as you can see, this one sparks really well. It's one of the better on either side so yeah anyway i hope that helps um yeah just um going through it's a bit hard on on texting going back and forth but um yeah as i said bright orange non-magnetic straight into water swish it around then straight out onto the grinder grind it all the way around soften all the edges keep it keep it cool then onto the wire brush clean it all up and you'll have a really nice striker yeah they, they turn up really well anyway thanks for watching